There might be times when you find a video on YouTube and want to share it with your class. We know that YouTube videos are blocked for students to view inside our school district, so one of the ways that you can show your students a YouTube video is to project it up on your projector, but what if you don't want all the extraneous information that shows up um, beside your YouTube video to be on your projector? Well, one of the things that I'm showing teachers how to do is how to extract the videos off of YouTube so that they can play them in their classroom. The benefit of this is that the video is no longer over the internet. It is stored on your local hard drive. And then you don't um, realize the stuttering or the broken connection to the internet. You have um, complete control of the video. You can play it, pause it, rewind it, whatever you want to, and you're not at the whim of your connection to the internet. So I'm going to show you a extension that I use in Firefox that allows me to download the YouTube video onto my local hard drive. If you haven't looked at extensions for your web browser, I would strongly encourage you to do that. Extensions can make your life so much easier. So let's take a quick look at this specific extension. I'm going to go to my Tools menu and I'm going to go to Add-ons. Again, I'm in Firefox. When you click on your add-ons, um, this add-ons window pops up and you can see you've got four different areas here. Get add-ons lets you search for specific extensions for your web browser. Extensions are the ones that are already installed on your computer. You can see I've got quite a few. Themes allow you to change the look of your web browser. It's just a personalization thing, but that's when you see people having you know, a little bit different looking web browser than you do. What they've done is they've applied a theme. And then plugins are plugins that are used inside your web browser Typically, they're like flash animations or um, Active Directory type things that allow you to interact with your web browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Get Add-ons tab, and then I'm going to have you click on the Browse All Add-ons. What this does is it opens up a window that is um, the Firefox Add-ons website. And the easiest thing to do is just type in YouTube, hit enter. You're going to get a lot of different choices. You might want to search through those, but I'll just tell you the top one is the one that I use and I really like it. So um, if you notice when I hover over it, I get a little button that says add to Firefox. You're going to want to click that and it will install the extension and then it will have you it actually does it all for you. It will restart Firefox. It'll make you click on a little button, so just be aware of that. But you click Add to Firefox. Once it's done installing, it'll have you restart, and you're ready to go. Here's what it looks like when it's installed. I have a YouTube video up in front of me, um, and down at the bottom below the video, you can see a couple different buttons, but here's the one that we want to look at. It says Download. Look at this, I can download an MP3, which means I would just get the audio portion. So maybe you just want someone's speech. You don't care about the video that's associated with it. You can pull just the MP3 version. If you want the video version that you can put into, um, say, a PowerPoint or your smart notebook or um, your Mimeo or Promethean software, then you're probably going to want to download the file that's called mp4. This is a movie file and so I'm just going to click on that and then what that will do is I'm going to have it saved to my computer. Go ahead and do that real quick. You can see it's going through the process of downloading. It's a 6.3 megabyte file and then what I'm going to do is go to my downloads because it went into my downloads folder. Let's look and see. I'm going to have it say today the video was called Turning In Assignments Using Edmodo. I'm going to double click on that. There's my video. And it's actually stored locally on my hard drive. I can play it full screen. Excuse me. I can play it full screen by clicking on my full screen button. I can pause it, play it, and I can also put it into other documents, like I said, PowerPoints or 
any of your um, interactive whiteboard software. It no longer relies on the internet, so um, I don't have to worry about it stopping and starting or it not coming in. It's the full video. So hopefully that will help you when you're trying to use YouTube in your classroom.